Every now and then, something rolls through that just makes me kind of stand back and go, whoa. And that's what this one did. This is a, uh, a big quad slide, gorgeous diesel pusher from uh, the Beaver RV company. Really kind of high-end specialty stuff. And oh my gosh, was this well taken care of. This, this is what you wish these used pushers looked like. So many times people buy this big, beautiful, expensive diesel pusher and they just wear it out. And this thing has been so well maintained and it is so tricked out. The woodwork, the craftsmanship in this, it's, this is something special. This is a true cut above. Now I think one of the reasons folks enjoy our videos here at Halid RV and just working with us in general is the way that we just shoot you straight. So here's the thing. This is a very high-end specialized coach that to do this job properly requires very specific training that I don't have. Um, I, I can tell you, boy, it's pretty, and I can give you the, the high points of this thing, but there's going to be some nitty-gritty details that you're probably going to want to know that as someone who doesn't sell these brand new, I'm not privy to some of the underskin information. I just want you to know I'm, I'm not trying to give anyone the runaround. I'm not trying to just make stuff up as I go. I'll do the best I can for you. Anything I don't know or you have questions on, we'll find answers for it to the best of our ability. But I, I think overall... <laughs> frankly uh this thing practically sells itself i i don't get wowed by stuff very easily i'm so numb to these things because i'm in them all the time that i i think that if a coach has the ability to really kind of put me on my heels pretty sure it has the ability to do that with just about anybody like the woodwork all hardwood woodwork the the, the craftsmanship on this is just stellar it's beautiful all the windows the the dual shades giving us tons of light or blocking out the light as we need uh, the electrical system on here is pretty cool. Their, their whole light switch system's a little bit different, and it kind of reminds me of the newer BM Pro sort of things that you'd find on the newer Jayco's. Those are your, your various light switches, and they're all individually labeled, so, you know, it's very nice to see what you're doing. Like little stuff like this. The little radius cuts and stuff. Everything's so sharp in here. Um, naturally, there is a little, uh, uh, you know, cover for the step well there so you don't got to worry about accidentally falling down or anything like that. Power shades on the front. It, it does all the things. We have our uh, control panel just to the left of the captain there for our automatic leveling. Six-way power adjustable captain's chair. Um, the, uh, you know, you see up here your controls for your um, Allison transmission, which on a thing like this, that's exactly what you want. Um, this also has, uh, before I forget, like I noticed a little heat vent uh, up front that kind of reminded me. This has um, a heating uh, system called Aqua Heat, which if you're familiar with the diesel pusher market, you're familiar with Aqua Heat. But for, you know, the, the other folks, you know, um, basically, like you, you don't see heat registers in the floor. There is a water circulation system and the water gets heated and heats the floor and then the floor radiates heat up into the coach. It's really, really cool. But you don't tend to find it in a lot of towable RVs, which is normally the wheelhouse of Halid RV because all of that water weighs eight pounds a gallon. That adds up quickly. But now when you got a big coach like this with a huge GVW, um, you basically you have the weight allowances to do that. And I love this little corner desk over here. Great little place. I could just see myself setting my little laptop over there and just setting up shop, you know. At, at, like, like my wife goes to bed way earlier than me, so I could see myself with my feet kicked up right in that corner, just playing my games. Or you ever just fall down the, the, the Facebook video or YouTube video rabbit hole where all of a sudden you wake up and it's like 1.37 in the morning and you're just in a completely different part of the internet that you're not familiar with. And you're like, what is this? How did I get here? Anyway, that's that's what I could see myself doing in that corner over there. That's what I was getting at. Uh, great little, you know, couples dining desk arrangement that can extend out to give us some, uh, you know, guest capacity. I love how the windows are all treated and trimmed out. Everything all hardwood in here. Soft touch, noise canceling ceiling. Like, when we were outside, think of the road noise. Well, like right there. You can see that box truck. There's still tons of road noise, but you just really don't hear it. Instead, all you get to hear is my nasally voice. <laughs> A smart use of mirrors too. That's something I know, especially like here or in the bedroom, they're really good um, about how they placed mirrors to really make everything look and feel even larger. That little white thing down there, by the way, that is the uh, central vacuum system. You'll see the collection point when we start working our way around outside. 
large Max Air fan up there above the kitchen space. And I want to take a minute to, to open all this kitchen cabinetry up because it is just, it's, it's just beautiful. And all the hardware is so silky smooth. It just has such a good hand feel when you go through it. And the cabinet that actually really kind of caught me. They have this sort of funny shaped bump out corner cabinet up here, but the whole thing swings open. So it's almost like your own little spice rack that swings open, but you still have good pantry storage back there. And all these shelves, if you notice the hardware, they're all adjustable. So you can move them up down. If you got big stuff, remove them completely. Convection microwave oven, of course. But something else I noticed, there's a huge countertop extension that they have in that, that pantry kind of rack thing sort of slides open if you need it. But So there's extra counter space here if you ever require it you know it, it just this thing is awesome the way that it all opens up all solid surface all flush mount so we have tons of prep space that whenever we need it um everything intentional like look at the way this is all like uh just just flawless like if you if you stand back a little bit it all looks like it's one molded piece you have to get right up close to it to see where the seams are it's fantastic. Great space for a wastebasket down here, too. It, it drives me crazy how many coaches, even big coaches like this, like a space for a wastebasket. It's just absolutely mind-boggling to me. Moving through past this true tile floor, not just like, you know, uh, one of those little sticky linoleum things. True tile stuff, more solid surface. Everything is solid surface. Everything is hardwood. I can probably quit talking about that. I think you've got the idea by now. Um, that clear shower closure, also really nice for making this whole thing look and feel much, much bigger. Adjustable height shower hardware is something I would like in my home because my wife and I are about a foot different in height. And it's like we have shower wars. Every time one of us gets into the shower, we always have to readjust everything. And uh, it, it'd be nice if we didn't have to do that. <laughs> um, up top here, another of those bigger Max Air vent fans. I love all the dedicated linen space in here. I mean, whether it's extra toiletries, shampoos, what have you, it's got all the things. Now, if I get our, uh, you know, private uh, bathroom out of the way here, open this up, look at that. They even put like a little bumper on the handle so the door didn't smash it. Splendid 2100 um, combo washer dryer, and it is all vented outside. You might've actually spotted that uh, earlier. You might spot it as we go outside later. And I like this open area right here because it, it's like it gives you a place to like set the laundry basket or fold some clothes before you put them away. And you can have any of your extra, you know, towels, beach towels, things like that up here. Now it, it occurs to me as I'm walking back here, I forgot to turn on the bedroom light. So give me just a moment. We'll get these fired up for you. Because there's something about that wood. That light hits it. This thing comes to life. Now what's cool here, we have opposing living room slides, but we also have opposing bedroom slides. So you have this big wide open space down here you can actually get dressed you can walk past each other without tripping over one another if you're you know trying to get rid of that midwestern weather and you want to go to someplace southwest southeast where it's a little warmer in the winter this is such a beautiful coach to do it because you just you wouldn't regret spending the time in it tons of storage along the rear here um i noticed they must have had a lot of clothes in this thing because they kind of diy'd a center support bar that apparently wasn't here um, not the fanciest looking thing, but super effective. And frankly, it's behind a mirrored sliding closet door. So I don't think it's really going to affect anybody. That is a big king bed. That is a very big king bed. You are not sacrificing anything on here. So often, whether it's towable or motorized, you have to make some kind of accommodations in terms of your sleeping arrangement. And I don't think you're going to have to do that here. Frankly, this bedroom is just about the size of my own at home. And like I said, really smart use of mirrors. It makes the whole room look and feel so big. Um, it looks like that's a big double door dresser, but obviously half of that is just a mirror. And uh, as we uh, swing back around, just to give you kind of the full 360 of the room, more mirrored stuff to make the whole room look and feel larger. Not to mention, they're always located like near windows, so it makes that whole space look and feel big. I guess if I'm going to be picky, guys, if I'm going to try to find something, it looks like the carpet here needs stretched slightly. Who cares? And uh, there's uh, one light in that fixture that needs changed. That's like inside the RV. That's all I've been able to find. So <laughs> it's it, it, this this thing is all put together. Back outside here, sunshine's threatening to come out. That would be lovely. Kind of a little breezy overcast right now. I'll welcome that little bit of sunshine. But back to the coach. Um, up for I'm, overall, the paint package still looks fantastic. Up near the top, 
you can see where um, the wind buffeting had kind of sandblasted it a little bit. That is just one of those things that tends to happen when you actually use a coach like this and truck it down the road, the, what, 49,000 miles that it's got logged on it. Um, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I, don't, I don't believe that. Well, stick your face outside of a window when you're driving down the highway and feel how quickly it starts to feel kind of worn out and raw. That's what this trailer, well, not trailer, sorry, coach is experiencing. And I was glad this 8K uh, quiet diesel generator right here was on a power extension because otherwise it would have been quite the, uh, the heave to kind of pull this thing out if you ever needed it. And right up front here you can see 1067.7 hours on it and it does run well. Um, it's, it's actually a good sign to see that it got used. It's amazing how many of these pushers or any motorhome, not even a pusher, I see that have like no hours logged on things, no miles logged on things. This one was actually used enough to keep everything kind of like, keep the fluids moving to keep all the seals kind of lubricated, you know. Everything about this is pretty positive. Uh, I'm having trouble finding stuff I don't like. Like you got this, this, this electrical system makes my head spin. It's far beyond my capabilities. I have the most basic training in electrical engineering and whoever did this is just, it's a wizard. And, but the way that everything is all so tightly, cleanly organized, it's awesome. This thing is awesome. By the way, that switch down there, that is your um, power extension and retraction switch for the generator. But basically, this is the, whoop, this is the brain. The wind is kind of uh, making that door not want to stay up on me. The tires all look fantastic. All good years. I'm not seeing any weather checking, any irregular wear patterns. That's another thing I always look for in these big used coaches. I look at the tires. And that's what they're supposed to look like. And I love it when they put the storage on the slide so you don't got to duck and crawl under that thing to get to it. It's just, you know, it's there. It's just there when you need it. And mechanically, like all the baggage doors, everything's doing exactly what it's supposed to. I didn't have trouble. None of the locks were even kind of gummed up. This is just fantastic. There's your collection point for your uh, Dirt Devil system that we saw below the refrigerator, by the way. Now, this, this peak of storage that we're looking at right now looks awesome. It is a bit deceptive because, remember, this is that cargo tray, so this space is occupied by that tray when it slides shut, although you could very easily remove that tray, I suppose, if you were so inclined. Uh, another thing I like here is the uh, power cable reel because this, you know, these 50-amp cords, they can weigh a lot. And it's, it's nice to have something that kind of does that heavy lifting for you. And it's a 27 foot long cord. I know that because the previous owners were so detailed and organized about things that they wrote directly on the containment unit, cord, 27 foot long. And that's, it's a, what I'm getting at is a good indicator that these were people who took extreme care of things, took detailed notes, did their care, maintenance, preventative routines. They did everything. Look at the engine compartment. Look at how clean this is. My, my car isn't this clean under the engine. But, you know, if I spent this much on a coach, I'd, I'd probably take a little bit better care of it than my little <laughs> Kia Soul as well. Um, I'll have to do some math and looking to find out what the tow capacity on this, but I, I'm sure it's, it's well over 10,000 pounds. You could probably tow just about anything you want behind this big beauty. You've obviously noticed all the slide awnings. There's window awnings for rainy day airflow. It's got all of the things. Remote control, patio awning built right onto the face of that slide up front. It's, it's got all the widgets and whiz bangs. This thing was so far ahead of its time when it was built. It's, it's just not even funny. It's just gorgeous. That's a serious bank of batteries too. Holy crap, Batman. That's, that's a, you could choke a donkey with those batteries. I don't know why a donkey would be eating batteries. But one time when I was on a, uh, a field trip as a kid, we went to a farm that had goats and it ate my name tag and I was afraid it was going to keep eating me. But, you know, I was in kindergarten. I didn't know nothing about nothing. Now I know that a goat is just a funny thing. Um... Yeah, I'm rambling, obviously. Sorry. Love that basement. I just want to give you folks a good look at it. I don't think you probably even need me talking. I think this video would be just as good if you just muted me, which is what my wife likes to do. And there's kind of the brain uh, unit for the uh, aqua heat system to keep our little feet warm so when you wake up at night, you don't get the cold piggies. <laughs> so, guys, give us a call. I know that this isn't for everybody, but if you're looking for that full-time travel and retirement uh, snowbird, sunbird kind of luxury rig experience. 
Why not get it at a used RV price tag instead of a new RV price tag? And you are not inheriting someone else's problems, at least not that I can see. Everything everything looks the way it I would expect it to look given the year, and maybe even a little bit better. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Haylet camping everyone.